Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Daphne and I make videos on DIYs and home decor. And it looks like IKEA Calyx hacks are an ongoing theme on my channel. I have previously hacked it into a detachable kitchen island as well as an industrial style cabinet. And I guess my sister liked my IKEA hacks so much that she made me an offer I couldn't refuse and that was to hack her Calyx unit. I feel like I feel like IKEA hacks with a Calyx unit especially will always be relevant just because it's such a versatile product that so many people own in their homes, me included, and there's so many ideas, so many different things you can do with it. So my sister purchased this Calyx unit a few years ago in bright yellow because at the time it was on sale for half price. And fast forward to a few years later, she felt like she needed an upgrade. So in today's video, I will be upgrading this Calyx shelving unit into a white boho cabinet with DIY burlap doors. If you've been following me for a while, you already know how much I love burlap. I like to use it to substitute cane, which is pretty pricey and also very hard to find where I live. So in a few more details, I will be creating two DIY doors for the two outer shelves of the unit and I will also use some MDF as a backboard for these two outer shelves. The dimensions for it are 75 by 37 centimeters and it is 6 millimeters thick. I asked at the DIY store that they cut it down to these dimensions for me. I will also create some DIY legs to elevate it a little bit. I feel like larger and bulkier furniture look more elegant when elevated and finally I will add doorknobs and of course I will be painting it white as I mentioned earlier. Now both MDF and laminate furniture are a little bit tricky to work with, that's the nature of the material so they need a special primer and ideally a shellac based one. I've read that the Zinsser Bin primer is the most suitable one for these surfaces Unfortunately, we don't have it here in Cyprus, so I will be using a different one as you'll see later on. I've used that one before and I didn't have any issues at all, but if you can get your hands to the Zinsser one, I would highly suggest you use that one just because it's specialized for these surfaces. Last but not least, all the products and dimensions will be linked in the description box for your convenience. I love how this IKEA hug turned out and I am so excited to show it to you guys. So I hope you enjoy and without further ado, let's get started. So to start with, I added wood filler to cover the screw heads on both sides of the unit as well as the areas that were a little bit distressed. I let it dry for a couple of hours and then sanded the whole unit with a 120 grit sandpaper just to create a little bit of a rough surface for the primer to grip onto. And I will also be painting the bottom of the calyx, so I made sure to turn it upside down and sand these areas as well. Once I was done with sanding, I wiped the whole unit clean with damp wetex and made sure there's no traces of sand. Next, I continued with the MDF, which I also sanded both sides with a 120 grit sandpaper and then wiped clean with a damp cloth. Just make sure your cloth is damp and not wet, otherwise it might absorb moisture and cause your MDF to expand. To create the legs, I used a piece of wood of 6 by 3.5 centimeters and cut with my miter saw two pieces of about 25 centimeters long and two pieces of 11 centimeters long for each leg. Then I sanded all sides of all the pieces. It was easier to sand them while disassembled and then I assembled the legs on a flat surface. I'm essentially creating a rectangle, so I used my drill to open two holes on either side to enable the screws going in, and I also used a flat drill bit on the smaller pieces to make an opening for the screw heads to sit in, and then I added the screws. 
I love how the legs turned out. This is how I had envisioned this piece with legs like these and I think these are better than just two legs on either side of the unit because in that case I would probably have to add a fifth leg in the middle to hold the weight and I think that wouldn't look too good. Once I had the two smaller pieces attached to one of the longer ones, I added the final piece and opened holes. I will not be attaching it yet as I won't be able to attach the whole thing on the calyx, but I opened the holes so I don't have to do that later. Next, I assembled the single piece first about 7 centimeters in on either side and centered it between the first and second shelf of the calyx. Then I added the half assembled leg, screwed it in and then assembled the leg on the other side. Once the legs were assembled, I added some wood filler to cover all the screw heads and let it dry for a couple of hours before sanding it with a 120 grit sandpaper. To create the door frame, I used a piece of wood of 48 by 9 millimeters and cut two pieces of 76 centimeters and two pieces of 39 centimeters for each door at 45 degree angle. As with the legs, I sanded everything before assembling it and then I placed everything on a flat surface the way I would assemble it. I added some wood super glue in the connections for extra security on both sides of each piece and then I added a flat corner brace on each of the connections as close to the inner outline as possible so I can cover them with the burlap later on. Next, I added wood filler in the connections and let it dry for a couple of hours before sanding it with a 120 grit sandpaper and finally I am ready for painting. For primer, I am using the Benjamin Moore Fresh Start Eco Primer and I am using a foam roller to apply it as well as a damp brush for all the corners and crevices. Once each surface was dry to the touch, I primed the other side as well. Priming the first coat took quite a while, especially on the calyx because I wanted to make sure all the yellow was covered and priming the inner side of the legs proved to be a little bit challenging but I couldn't think of any other way I could have done it. So yeah, I painted the whole unit, even the bottom of it. I think it took me about an hour and a half to two hours to paint just the calyx and as you guys can tell, it got dark by the end of it. Would it be easier to use a spray gun? Absolutely, I just don't have one just yet, but I am planning on investing in one. So the next day, I sanded very lightly the MDF and the calyx with a 220 grit sandpaper and applied a second coat of primer. It is recommended to apply at least two coats of primer on MDF and the calyx definitely needed a bit more coverage as well.
Okay, now that the undercoat is completely dry, I am ready for the main color, and that is Pale Oak by Benjamin Moore. It's an off-white color, it's very pretty. But before I do that, I will sand each surface with a 220 grit sandpaper for better application, and I will do that every time before applying the new layer. I will apply a total of two layers, and uh, yeah, I think that's it. So let's get started. the burlap I cut a generous length of it and stapled it on the back side of each door and I also covered the flat corner braces just make sure to pull the fabric when stapling it so it's nice and tight I absolutely love the combination of the burlap with this shade of white and if you guys can tell I placed the doors on a throw to protect the painted surface then I cut the excess fabric with a pair of scissors and finally I attached the hinges about 15 centimeters in on either side. Last but not least, it's assembly time, so I placed the backboard on the calyx and centered it, drilled some holes and then added the screws. Then with the help of Alex, we traced the holes for the hinges, drilled them and attached the doors. Okay, everything is coming out so beautifully. I'm so excited with how it's turning out. And now it's time to attach the doorknobs and I will be using these Zara Home rope doorknobs. I think they are so, so pretty. I've used the same ones, but in a bigger size in one of my previous videos and I really, really like them. So let's go ahead and attach them. One thing we noticed is that because the doors are sitting on the exterior of the calyx, they don't close all the way, which we actually expected to happen. So we decided to add some door magnets close to the doorknobs and that definitely made a huge difference. Okay guys, oh, sneak attack. So the calyx hack is finally complete. It turned out so, so good. Yeah, Eddie really likes it too. So I can't wait for you guys to see the final reveal. So let's go ahead and show you in three, two, one. Ikea Calyx makeover. I love how it turned out. 
It took me six full days to complete this project. I think it took a little bit longer than usual because I filmed half of it at my home and half of it at my sister's place and it cost me a total of this much. So I hope you guys liked my transformation and found it helpful and inspiring. If you did, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and also share it with those you think would find it useful. I think the transformation is huge from a funky shelving unit to an elegant boho chic cabinet. I love IKEA hacks, I love the idea of creating something unique and that's one thing I like about IKEA furniture, that it gives us DIYers the opportunity to tweak them and turn them into our dream furniture. So I hope you're all having a fantastic day or night and last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more home decor and DIY content and also click on the notification bell to get notified whenever a new video comes out. Thank you guys so so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!